Northern Ohio, getting ready to batten down the hatches for an impending decent sized snowstorm we're supposed to get. But I got some exciting news and the exciting news is, is that I am uh, no longer in the Dodge Ram family. New tow rig video, let's check it out. Gotta get your arms way up in a cab And set the hook on a small mouth fast And then you'll understand Gotta get your hands on a Shimano reel And a G-Loom is right, I bet you like what you feel Step on the deck, give it a whirl Hello and welcome to my world So guys, this is my new to me 20 Chevrolet Silverado 1500 High Country Edition. Again, second owner. Super nice in here. Fell in love with this thing the first time I saw it. Got the High Country stitching there in the headrest. Sunroof. Adaptive cruise control, lane departure assist, uh, downhill descent, uh, automatic tailgate, a lot of stuff that are available there. The back side in here, the, the passenger area. I like that the doors open up really wide, almost 90 degrees to the bed or the body of the truck. Pretty cool little hidden pockets here on both sides. Has a uh, center armrest for the passengers. Heated seats in the back. Buttons that are there. Heated and cooled. Captain's chairs and passenger chair up front. Bucket seats. Automatic or power sliding center window. Did come with a, uh, a bed cover. Again, this is not a brand new truck. This is a 2020. I love this thing though. I love the way... It's not gonna do much protection because it's just a uh, you know just regular like pleather cover. It doesn't hopefully you guys see it. it's got like a faint Chevy symbol there. I really like the uh, no handle here push button. Been hauling some stuff in it already literally. Went and got some kerosene heaters and stuff for this this storm. I really like the fact that when you pick up on the tailgate and hold it there, it actually will pick itself up. Standard 5.3 that's been tried and true over the years and years and years. 20 inch alloy wheels. It's a pretty cool feature right here. You see that little button that's there on the back side of that. If you hit that with your foot, it comes back. So you could step up on here to get into the bed if you needed to. Press it again to go back to normal and again it does close when they shut automatically when you shut the door it has the z71 off-road floor liners in it which I is an absolute must for me you know you guys on my ram I had the weather techs which saves me some money there I don't have to buy it So I apologize for the really close up angle here. I got the wrong camera or the wrong uh, lens on my camera, but hopefully 
This is where you're going to see my Speedway starting <laughs> fishing adventures for the 2022 fishing year. Really amazing to start this thing up and show you some of the features that are in this truck again. That I, There's a lot of things that I do like about this truck. One, uh, that it's not a Ram. <laughs> uh, if you know, you know. But anyway, we are, uh, you know, I, I'm just too, I bought this thing from Glockner in Portsmouth. Uh, shout out to Dylan Reeder. The guy that sold me the truck made everything super simple. Their motto is there is that they make it easy, and they did. I uh, walked in really not even looking to buy. Um, was ready to get out of the, the diesel market and out of the Ram. And uh, I saw this online. I've been looking for quite a while, and then I just saw it and fell in love with it and test drove it. Dad and I went up, and it's um, so far it's everything that I could possibly ever want in a vehicle. It has all the creature comforts that I'm used to in my Ram. Again, heated and cooled leather seats, heated steering wheel, uh, adaptive cruise control, which I didn't have in the Ram. Uh, it does have a heads-up display. Um, backup camera, which has some pretty cool features. Let's let's check these out. These are pretty cool for, especially you guys that are anglers and you're actually out there hooking up trailers all the time a lot of times. Maybe you're a farmer. Check this out. It's pretty cool. All right, so the backup camera there, I'm going to put it here in reverse. You can see it come on. You have three options down here. One. This is uh, the, the normal path when you turn the wheels, obviously, just like anything else, it shows you where you're going to go. It shows you the trailer path, where it's going to uh, swing from. And also, the last one here is one I thought would be cool for anglers and stuff. It shows a direct down ver view over top of your hitch, which I don't have my hitch on here right now because it's so new to me. But that is absolutely really daggone cool. Wireless charging here, which fits my phone, which none of them ever do. You can see there in a second, it'll... That's over there. Trailer brakes here. Four-wheel drive over here again. Everything here, 23,000 miles. So guys, um, I, I wanna thank you guys for the support, um, you know, it's huge on my channel. I have a, I'm, dri I'm driving for 4,000 subscribers this year, and you're going to see a lot more footage coming very soon. Um, we got some real cleaning videos and things. I'm headed to Lake Fork in April, which is going to be a big time. We'll be fishing a lot in there, but I'm super humbled to be able to pick up something like this in my area. One, you can't find them. Two, to have a job and friends and family and support people like you guys out there that allow me to chase my dream of, of becoming, you know, a not only a, a, a professional fisherman, I use that term lightly or loosely, um, you know, somebody that fishes for a living or a content creator. So I appreciate the support. It means more than you know. Guys, dig them a new truck. I love it. So if you can, you know what the deal is. Get out there and lean on. We'll see you next time on another line.